So here's a question for you. Have you ever enjoyed listening to the music of a video game without having ever played the video game itself? Today, I want to tackle a topic that has sparked a lively debate in my YouTube community. It's a statement that might surprise some of you, but bear with me. Just because I dig the music from a video game doesn't mean I like to play the game. Sounds contradictory, right? Well, let's dive deep into this intriguing concept and explore why I believe I'm right. First of all, we need to acknowledge that video games are a multifaceted medium that combines various elements like gameplay, visuals, storytelling, and music. Each of these components contributes to the overall experience, but they can be appreciated independently as well. So why should the music be any different? As the AAA video game industry pivots more towards cinematic-like experiences, the music has started to take a back seat. In which I mean, the music starts to become more like film scores rather than standalone songs. And this is okay because what they're gunning for here is immersion, atmospheric experiences. But this also means the music has become more dependent on the context of the game. It has become so attached to the gameplay experience that it takes a little bit more effort and context to appreciate the music. Recent games like God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, and even Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom are great examples of this. Is this a bad thing? Definitely not. But it also definitely reflects the present gaming market. A lot of gamers today, myself included, really do enjoy the cinematic-like gameplay experiences that these games provide. But it also does so at the expense of more memorable and more melodic-like music. Thankfully, we still have these catchy and melodic soundtracks care of independent games such as Deltarune, Undertale, and recently, Pizza Tower. Come to think about it, some of the greatest video game soundtracks are masterpieces in their own right. These soundtracks have transcended their in-game context and have become cultural phenomena. They evoke emotions, create memories, and resonate with us on a deeper level. Now let me address the skeptics who argue that liking the music implies a love for the game itself. While the music and gameplay may be intertwined, they can be enjoyed independently based on personal preferences and interests. It's entirely possible to appreciate the beauty and artistry of a soundtrack without having an affinity for the gameplay mechanics. Moreover, many video game soundtracks are composed by incredibly talented artists who have worked on other forms of music. These composers pour their hearts and souls into crafting these pieces drawing inspiration from classical, electronic, and various other genres. As a result, their music can transcend the boundaries of gaming and find resonance with listeners from diverse backgrounds. Let's also not forget that music has the power to transport us to different worlds, evoke emotions, and create vivid imagery in our minds. When we listen to a game soundtrack, we can imagine ourselves exploring fantastical realms, engaging in epic battles, or solving intricate puzzles, even if we don't necessarily enjoy the gameplay that accompanies it. Music has a way of stimulating our imaginations and connecting us to the essence of a game's narrative. In fact, if you look around, you'll find countless examples of individuals who are passionate about game soundtracks without necessarily being avid gamers. They may appreciate the music's composition, use it for inspiration during work or study sessions, or simply find solace in its soothing melodies. Their love for game music doesn't require them to spend hours mastering complex game mechanics. Ultimately, it's important to recognize that our tastes and preferences are subjective. Just because someone appreciates the music from a game doesn't mean they must also enjoy playing it. We all have different ways of engaging with and appreciating art forms, and video game music is no exception. Playing games demand most, if not your full attention most of the time, and when you're playing a game, there's almost nothing else you can do at the time, except for just simply playing. And this is where music has an advantage. The soundtrack can transcend a game, a film, or TV show simply because 
you can consume music without it taking away your full attention. You are free to do whatever it is you want. You can study, you can do chores, you can play another game while listening to any music that you like. And when you find your favorite music, your favorite playlist of video game music, you can listen to it forever. In the meantime, that video game you played and finished some years ago, that is now just a memory. Yes, you've probably had some great times and great memories about the game. But the music lives on in your everyday life. Being a full-time content creator and a dad, I have less and less time to actually play games myself. So I choose to use my limited gaming time to play the games that I actually want to play. As of this recording, I am obsessively playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm eagerly awaiting Diablo 4 and Final Fantasy 16. So there you have it, my friends. The beauty of video game music lies in its ability to stand alone as a powerful form of art. It can captivate us, inspire us, and move us, regardless of our affinity for the game itself. And sometimes, a game soundtrack ages gracefully compared to the actual game itself. It's a testament to the incredible talent of composers and the immersive nature of video game soundtracks. You do not need to have played Super Mario Galaxy to recognize that Gusty Garden Galaxy soundtrack is an amazing piece of music. You don't need to have played Chrono Cross to enjoy and sing along to Scars of Time, a total musical masterpiece by Yasunori Mitsuda. And if you're not a fan of Metroidvania or Castlevania games, you still cannot deny that the entire soundtrack of Castlevania Symphony of the Night is an absolute masterpiece that you can listen to again and again without even knowing anything about the game or the franchise. The fact of the matter is, some video game music are just absolute masterpieces, amazing works of art that can be enjoyed and appreciated as it is. Period. Does this make you a fake gamer? Absolutely not. Does this make you lesser of a music fan? Absolutely not. So the next time you find yourself humming a tune from a game you've never played, embrace it. Allow yourself to appreciate the beauty and artistry of the music without feeling obligated to engage with the gameplay. After all, music transcends boundaries and speaks to us in ways that surpass the limitations of any medium. Thank you all for joining me in this exploration of the relationship between video game music and gameplay. I hope this video has shed some light on the fact that it's perfectly valid to enjoy the music of a game without necessarily having an interest in playing it. Remember, music has the power to unite us, inspire us, and ignite our imaginations. So let's celebrate the diverse ways in which we connect with video game soundtracks. Until next time, keep listening, keep enjoying, and keep embracing the magic of video game music. Stay awesome. Now I want to hear from you. Sound off in the comments what video game music you enjoy that come from games you're not interested in playing at all. Bonus points if you say why. And for more of my content, click here.